So now your story, we've talked about this on the radio before, but you yeah. uh, you worked you had a job at an advertising agency and yeah. then things changed for you. Yeah. What happened? So I've always wanted to my whole life be a comedian. Like, huh. yeah, since I was a child, I, I really just enjoyed making people laugh and I, that was kind of the feedback I got wherever I went. My friends would say, you're funny. And I, I didn't think that like, uh, you know, Seth Rogen or Larry David began as anything more than everyone's funny friend. Right. So my whole life I was thinking, how can I become a comedian? And then, but I, you know, I'm a reasonable man. So I still went to college and then I got a job at an ad agency, but still I was thinking like, what can I do to get noticed for my sense of humor? And I also really love rap and yeah. rap music and rapping. So I, I thought, like, what's a good way in to get noticed, you know, that... Because I, I didn't want to rely on, like, doing, like, a stand-up thing and, like, someone coming into a New York City stand-up and seeing me for, like, two minutes and be like, that guy's funny, so I want to take the power in my own hands and create my own content. And I, I thought rap was a really unique, different way to do it. And I've always loved rapping. So, so fascinating. This story yeah. is really interesting to me because, uh, you know, you would, like, in an ad agency, yeah. say, they would utilize or hopefully I would think they would utilize your humor right yeah. you would be the guy that like ideas, campaigns right? and they did but it's just so limited when right. it's like it wasn't you know. as fulfilling I'm were your sure. parents supportive of this career shift and this dream you've always had no <laughs> <laughs> well how'd they react well, initially, pretty negatively. Like, they actually, there was like a, I was uh, on vacation with my parents and my girlfriend at the time in Hawaii, and like, it was about two months before I was gonna post any of my stuff online. And they literally went around the table one by one, and I think you can say it was like an intervention where they explained <laughs> why they didn't think that I should go forward with this decision. Did your mother at any time say, what did I do to deserve this? Uh, she didn't say that, but it was, I feel like but it was, it was implied. It, it was, it was implied, hanging yeah. there in yeah, the room. Yeah, it was implied. But, yeah. uh, you know, but fortunately, I, so I put my first video out. Got a million views, the right? first day. So it's like, what an I told you so moment, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, then, but then did they get on board, or are they still not sure? They were on board pretty, I mean, they had no choice. What could, like, it's, you know. I, I mean, there's they, so many choices. Yeah. I mean, really. You're right. I, I guess it took a little while still still for them to be like, okay, obviously you have one viral video, but this is not like necessarily a career. Right. But I just kept making viral videos. But